One Spreckles neighborhood is facing a cat problem and the community is addressing the issue. Action News reporter Kyla Linville has more. Cats have been a, a common part of the community. James Riley has lived in Spreckles for 75 years, and throughout that time, cats have shared a love-hate relationship with the community. While some don't mind the cats, others have seen and smelled the large population, and the community is taking action to get them spayed and neutered. With the help of KSBW, organizers were able to spread the word about their cause, where they received donations to help catch the cats. Some of those donations came from places like Friends of Community Animal Services and Heading Home Animal Rescue, who brought supplies to the neighborhood. She came down with 30 traps and hutches and taught us all how to trap the cats, how to make sure that they're cared for, um, how to make sure that they get a good recovery, thank you, um, and how to transport them, just everything. So uh, this um, uh, neutering spay thing we're doing this weekend has been a good thing. Uh, I think we've caught in the general area of here 17 that have not been neutered. Community members have been setting up traps, laying down food to lure cats inside. Once caught, the felines are kept in hutches as they wait for the SNP bus, a nonprofit that spays and neuters animals. In the hutch, they have a little, um, like a little safe box that they can go into. Uh, there's a litter box, there's food, there's water, and then they're all covered and in kind of a darker place so the cats can um, not get too freaked out. And after the cats are neutered, they plan to release them back into the neighborhood. Reporting in Spreckles, Kyla Linville, KSBW Action News 8. Organizers plan to get the cats ready to be taken to the SNP bus tomorrow morning.